my beloved sons and daughters, and more so mom and dad, parents, please. Yeah, I'm not going to talk about this. Time is running out. Mom and dad, pay attention, please, I beg you. If anybody said to you that marriage is fun, then they are wrong. If anybody said to you that marriage is going on holidays, then they are wrong. If anybody said to you that marriage is because I liked him, he liked me, she is good looking, he is handsome, that is also wrong. Marriage is the most precious and also responsible commitment because marriage, my beloved, when you come into this marital bond, you are becoming like God on earth. Why? Because only when this couple get married, they create a human like God does. Only God creates. In marriage, you are a, cre a co-creator with God. He gave you the ultimate gift. He gave you the most precious gift ever. God, the creator. In this, he stands alone. In marriage, he allowed you to be like him. You create humans like God does. There is no greater gift than this for God to give anyone. Now, if marriage was not that vital to God, he wouldn't have made you co-creators like him. Satan, the first thing he did, he attacked marriage. And when I say marriage, I'm talking about family. Because through marriage, the family is established. When a mother or a father, husband and wife, they get married, then they have children. When the children come, if the mother says, I am too tired to look after this child, I am too busy, I need to have my rest, I need to do my fingernails, I need to go out, I need to eat, I need to drink, I need to do that, and you leave that child alone by giving them an iPhone or an iPad and keep them busy to get off your case, you are making sure that child is going to grow with a scar. Psychologically, they are scarred. It is the biggest responsibility to raise children. Biggest responsibility. Biggest responsibility. And it's not easy. You will sweat it out. You will have no nights, no rest, no nothing. Because the child is crying, the child is sick. And now as the child is growing, so as their demands and their responsibilities and the obligations are growing with them. Now they become a teenager. I'm more fearful now. Who are they mixing with? Where are they going? What are they doing? What are they watching? What are they listening to? What is happening in my child's life? What are they being exposed to? Because the world we live in now, it is giving nothing but poison because the world is placed in the bosom of the snake, Satan, the dragon. It's poisonous. And look how Satan is attacking family. 